Hey there, Scarefest fans. Just wanted to let you know that this is Joe Lewis from Bonehead Weekly, and this beard is getting unruly. I wanted to do this last week, this movie, because I saw it and I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Even the third act, was. But I decided to do Dracula and give it just a few more days because we'd spend so much time on the other show I do, The Hunt. Now, here's what is so interesting about The Hunt to me, other than it's a really good movie. The Hunt was written by Nick Hughes and Dable Lindelof. He and his partner, Nick Hughes, a writing, decided to make another movie and do it for Bloomhouse. Now, if you know what Bloomhouse is, if you're in the horror film, it's a small production company. And they pitched an idea of the most dangerous game set in our political times called The Hunt. It's interesting because... I think The Hunt may very well be more known for the controversy around it than it is the actual movie. So it was supposed to come out last September in 2019. There were some mass shootings in August, and it got really political. Trump even tweeted about how this is another one of those Hollywood neoliberal films attacking red folk or red states and conservatives. And the movie is really not about that. It got postponed. What? Something happened this spring. What happened in March? Oh, yeah. We all got shut down because of COVID. So it went on the video on demand. Now, I'm fine with that. I understand that that's probably where our entertainment's going. I wish I could have seen this on the big screen. I had every intention of going and seeing it on the big screen until I also got shut down because of COVID. The Hunt is an updated version of The Most Dangerous Game. The Most Dangerous Game is a short story most of us read in grammar school, elementary school about a guy who hunts other people. Well, the hunt is this. Liberal, rich folk decide to start a hunt of these red conservatives. Now, that sounds really political, and it is really political. It pokes fun on both sides. A lot of the things that I saw from people were before they ever saw the hunt saying how bad it bashed conservative folk. I've seen the hunt, and I'm going to tell you that yes, they get bashed, but I don't know that they get bashed as bad as the liberals. Maybe both equally. I don't know. If you want to watch it and write down who got bashed here, who got bashed here, who's made fun of here, who's made fun of there, but the liberals are pretty damn stupid in this movie. In fact, the only really smart character is played by the lead actress, Betty Gilpin. I love this movie. There, it, it's, it's what horror does best when it can be satirical, funny, educational, enlightened. What I always tell people is the great thing about horror films is that you can tell any story in a horror film. There was a famous filmmaker, and I think it was Lawrence Kasdan, who said you can tell any story in a Western. Now, he's smarter than I am, and he wrote Empire Strikes Back and Silverado and a bunch of other things. He's really talented, but I, I disagree. I think a horror film is the one genre. I don't know that it's my favorite genre, but it's the one genre you can tell any story in. Because you can do anything in a horror film. Because there really aren't a lot of rules. And I love The Hunt. It, it, it twists. It turns. It has curves where you think it's going to go straight. It has a backstory. It explains a lot of the characters, even though it doesn't explain it all at once. People who you think are going to live don't necessarily make it that long. And people who you think are going to die maybe make it a little longer. Is it a brilliant film? No. But is it a fantastic Saturday night, an hour and a half movie? Absolutely. I can't recommend it enough. Could you get offended by watching The Hunt? Probably you could. Should you? No. No. If you're conservative or liberal and get offended by this movie, you need to toughen up a little bit, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. This is very subjective. Your tastes and your feelings are subjective, and they're your own. I highly, highly suggest you watch The Hunt, okay? This has been Joe Lewis. Bonehead Weekly. Thank you so much. Go out there. 